right, everybody, good morning. Um, it is the next morning. Uh, we are getting packed up to leave here in a little while. Um, but of course, as always, uh, time to go motovlog. Time to uh, give you that Honda Ruckus campground review. Uh, so let's get this ruckus unloaded and uh, go uh, give you that perspective. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. We are here at A Thousand Springs, right outside of Twin Falls here. And we are nestled up, as you can see in the background there, on the Green River. Um, so we're going to kind of go through here, show you the sites a little bit and, um, you know, show you what this campground has to offer. So here, I believe on the left hand side here is some day use area because it doesn't really look like camping, but you've got fire pits and you've got, uh, you know, barbecues and picnic tables and stuff like that. So I think that's what this is all about over here. Obviously, as all the signs say here, it's a pay area. So um, I'm not sure what the rates are for that. You could probably check their website. If you're in the area down here and you want to get on this Green River, <coughs> uh, that is uh, something you can do. Um, I did notice up here on the left-hand side, um, you do have a couple of cabins they may have some more down on the bottom possibly um, but this is also another option if you don't have anything to uh, um, if you don't have a trailer or a tent or something like that you can get into one of these cabins that kind of off look the green river as well so that's kind of nice here in the middle of um, I would say the middle of the park here uh, you've got uh, the the indoor pool that's also got the mineral baths and the mineral water and all that um not a lot of places in the area here have indoor pools so obviously if it's way too hot outside or if it's cold um you got somewhere you can uh you can go swim um but it is a paid service you have to pay to uh go swim in those pools so and this is the back side of the road that you would come in on. Got the Thousand Springs Resort uh, uh, sign there. They also do have uh, boat ramps. We're going to talk about that here in just a minute. But right here in front of us, you've got uh, the shower. Um, so bathroom showers if you're tank camping. And there is a lot of, of temp tank camping here. Um, uh, those uh, you've got a full shower set up there so let's go down here towards the water <clears throat> so I'm not sure how much is getting blinded out by the by the Sun hopefully it's not but uh, yeah you've got a full boat boat launch here you can bring your boat down here and uh, if you are so inclined you could be out here on the Green River uh, camping and uh, boating at the same time which is kind of cool we saw some people out here with some jet skis some kayaks a couple boats last night so it is definitely uh, a big attraction here looks like you got a little mess hall area here I'm pretty sure you could probably rent uh, make sure also if you're getting value out of this make sure to hit that like button make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any of uh, any of these uh, ruckus reviews every campground we try to go to we're gonna we're gonna give you this first-hand perspective so you can know what the know what the campgrounds are all about before you get here so we're gonna go into the area here where uh, you're actually gonna camp if you're camping um, there are 48 sites here 22 of those are RV which means the rest of them, the 26 of them are tent spots very highly tent spot friendly here um, if that's your thing um, up here on the left hand side you've got the playground and then the um, the way it works out is all the RV sites are on the back side and then you've got nine tent spots in the middle and I believe 17 on the water 
Um, so let's go, let's go down here and kind of tell you a little bit about this. So 22, we're going to talk about the RV sites first. 22 sites, 50 amp, 30 amp, sewer, power, the whole nine yards. I want to say it was $43 at time of filming uh, out the door with tax for one night. So $43 for full hookups, not bad. Um, the only thing I, I would like out of this here is to maybe see them try to manicure this a little bit better and give you a better experience uh, back here for the RV campers because it doesn't really seem like, you know, they could put some grass in, they could put something in, um, you know, to kind of spruce it up to make it look a little bit more appealing, um, just like what they do for the tent spots that are completely grass. It just looks like this was kind of an afterthought. But... You still got all the full hookups, which are, you know, pretty important. So um, size-wise in most of these sites here, you're probably going to be able to get a 30 to 40 foot rig in here um, into most of these spots with no problems. Maybe a little bit larger. Um, might be pushing it 40, 45. You might have to park your, your vehicle somewhere else, but it, it is doable. So let's go through here. So this is site one. Uh, this is pretty a uh, pretty typical size here. You've got the um, all the water is on the left hand side in the middle, which is kind of a little different. But uh, I put it with the electrical box. But and then you've got the electrical boxes on the back with the sewer right on the left hand side of those. So that's one and two, three. And three and four here, pretty decently sized spots. All the way up to five have a little bit of a break in the middle. I'm assuming this is somebody who owns the campground or a camp host or something of that nature here. And then you're over here where we're at. You got another spot here. Six. Uh, we are in spot seven uh, this uh, this go around there's Kim right now she's gonna go take some pictures um, but yeah we're in spot seven it wasn't bad we had to put two blocks on the left side to level it up our neighbor over here in eight had to use his Anderson blocks and he almost had those completely maxed out uh, to uh, to get level here so some spots are going to be level some you're going to have to work for so we got seven and they're in eight these guys are in nine they kind of came in a little sideways here nine you got ten eleven I'm going to swing through the other side of this here. We're going to catch it from the upside. Alright. So, we're up to 15. Well, that went quick. 15. 16. 17. And these are, like I said, good size sites. Um they're a little tight in the middle if you've got a slide you can you can definitely make it work um just know that you're going to be right next to the person that uh that you're uh that you're camping with and they've got the fire pits on the upper left hand corners which put us r probably within i don't know three to four feet of our neighbor and uh you know we didn't have a raging fire last night you know we just had a little one but it, did kind of get me nervous having a fire right next to somebody else's rig so a little a little bit weird with the placement with the with the fire pits for these rv sites but you know we were able to make it work just keep it under control should be fine so site number 18 site number 20 you got 21 here and 22 will round out 22 this site is huge yeah somebody got hooked up that's a 
That's a lot of real estate there. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess the idea is if you can get into site number 22, uh, then, uh, I would, uh, definitely, uh, I would definitely look at that. I'm going to say for, and it's, a. I think mean, usually it's probably a back insight they went and pulled through but if you can get into one of these on the end here I'm gonna put those as my uh, unique adventures uh, top picks for sites there if you're doing RV um, it's just uh, pretty uh, <laughs> pretty awesome you got grass you got all sorts of stuff over there uh, you know a lot more area in there uh, so, yep, 21, 22. So if you're coming down here, see if you can snag up those spots because those are uh, those are gonna be the prime ones. So we're gonna come back down down here to where the tent areas. So when when we're talking about these tent areas here, there are two rows, and there's a little bit of a difference with uh, how those work out. Um, so obviously both are going to have grass, both are going to have, you know, probably a fire pit. It look, doesn't look like this one does, um, but I'm assuming most of them are going to have some way to, to do some fire. And, uh, okay, here we go. We're going to be in this bottom section here. So these sites are all marked in M. So, yeah. all right, everybody, just to let you know, our GoPro uh, shut off for some reason while we were trying to finish doing that ruckus review. So we're just gonna have to do it uh, the old fashioned way here. So pretty much where we were at, uh, we were showing you guys uh, the two uh, rows for uh, tent camping and uh, I believe that's M and I'm not sure what it is on the front side by the lakeside access um, but I believe there are 40 uh, tent spots down there and if my memory serves me right um, you're gonna want those tent spots that are right on the river on the Snake River um, those seem to be the definitely the prime spots to have down there and with those tent spots on the river, you have that, you know, gorgeous view of the Snake River. But not only that, um, a fair amount of these actually had um, little docks at each, uh, at each campground. So you could actually go tent camp. And I saw a couple people doing this. You take your tent or you take your, and you take your toys and you bring them out in the water and you can actually dock your boats and everything like that right on your campsite and then you can literally go out to the dock and go ride and come back it's a very interesting setup and i don't think i've seen at many campgrounds and they've got the boat ramp right there at the campground which is really nice uh, you can dump right in right there and then go right over to your camp spot and i saw at least two or three different boats like hooked up and and using that dock that's pretty awesome. So this campground I think is definitely tailored towards the tent campers and having the access with the water. Don't get me wrong, the RV campsites were just fine. Um, they had the full hookups, they had everything, which was nice and I wanna say it's like 40 bucks a night, so it's not bad. Um, but it, those spots are back off the um, water and you know you got to walk down to the water you know to get that access which is fine and for us it was perfectly you know fine for what we needed we needed an overnight stop um but you didn't have any grass and it was all kind of gravelly for the rv spots but you go down to those tent spots you got grass you got fire pits well we had fire pits um and that was the other thing with the fire pits they put them right next to the other uh they put the fire pits right next to the other trailer that would be right next to you. So it was a little bit weird with that. We kept our fire pretty mellow, but uh, definitely this campground is definitely tailored to more of the water sports, uh, tent access, having that boat access down there um, to be able to get on and off the river. So 
uh, it was actually a really good spot. Um, like I said, we apologize for having to do the rest of the review this way, but uh, we got home and didn't have the footage for the other uh, part of the, the review. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you are following us as we go through and we do these epic adventures and we give you guys that epic campground review on our ruckus point of view, um, giving you that drive by. Um, make sure you check out all those videos and we try to do one at every campground and uh, we appreciate all the support everybody and until then we'll see you guys in the next video.